Well, the first one that I came across, and I can't pronounce it because my French pronunciation is not good at all, but it's uh, La Enterprise, I guess. La Enterprise. Yeah, because I think that would be... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> L'Entreprise, I think, would be it, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, that's the... Uh... That's what the first known human ship named Enterprise. I'm not sure why Wikipedia had to add in that first known human ship. Um, uh, probably because somewhere in, in here they have an Andorian ship that is the equal to it. And like, you know, Wikipedia may know something we don't, though. Right? Yeah. There might be a Martian <laughs> ship out there that we don't know about. Named the Enterprise? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, you know what? I hadn't even really, the word's there, but like I kind of just glossed over it every time I saw it. Like I missed it. Like I'm looking right <laughs> at it, but it's the brain, you know, the brain didn't pick it up. Yeah. Yeah, that's a weird way, way to name it. Um, So that ship, I don't think we have a lot of idea when it was commissioned, but uh, it was a 320 ton, 24 gun, sixth rate frigate. The funny fact about this ship is that. When she was captured by the British in 1705, the British renamed her HMS Enterprise, as in with a Z, as in, I just got this prize. <laughs> hey, you know, it's... Um, the that's a nice slap in the face. Yeah, that's that's a, a, a an interesting spin on it right there. Yeah. Um, yeah, that used to happen. I don't think that's a thing that happens now, but that's a thing that used to happen during the age of sail, is like you would take a ship and rechristen it. I think nowadays we just sink them. Yeah. I, well, I, I don't know. I mean, I feel like our rules of engagement probably prevent us from doing things like taking ships like that you know, or as our own. And being uh, all piratey and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not sure how all that works these days. Like, uh, should the Navy ever find itself grabbing a ship from another country and keeping it as its own. Yeah. You know, I thought was kind of interesting was, uh, you know, in Ukraine, if you, uh, as a Ukrainian citizen, if you take over a, a, a abandoned Russian tank, you don't have to pay income tax on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was kind of interesting. They passed a law just for that, you know? Well, I mean, it's probably a, a way to help, Oh, it, you know, 100%, you know, like it's just, keep people trying to take them out of commission. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, you got to figure like, I would have just thought like, oh, <laughs> we're fighting for our lives against an invader. I'll take this tank. <laughs> you know, I never thought about the tax <laughs> implications of it. Oh, so as of 2007, the uh, Royal Navy has had 13 more ships named Enterprise slash Enterprise with a Z of which 10 were commission ships and therefore use the prefix HMS or his or her majesty's ship. Yep. It's his majesty's ship currently. And these days it would be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But for uh, 115 <laughs> years there, it was hers. Um, 